Hey YouTube, Frog Toad here. Well, it's time to choose another knife. Well, this time I wanted something a little larger. Um, anybody who watches my channel know I like I like the larger knives, and I wanted to get something something made in America, something with you know a four-inch blade in keeping with the size, and just something a little higher quality than I've been having. Um, so, as usual, I narrowed it down to two. Um, this is the 710. It's the Benchmade McHenry Williams. McHenry and Williams. And man, this thing is just sweet. It has all the good features Benchmade is famous for. Um, as far as my criteria, you know, I like the larger knives, lighter knives, but Benchmade quality is just tough. The uh, the blades, you know, 3.9. That's that's right. That's right there. I do like the Loxus, the uh, the Axis lockup, and it's just a real quality knife. Now the, the other one it came down to was the Spyderco Military in the Digicam. Now uh, I know I'm going to get to fondle both of these. So at least in this instance, it's not going to be buying totally off of what's um, available to me here on the internet. Now this has a 4-inch blade, and this knife appears to be a bit lighter at 4, a little over 4 grams, as opposed to, well, let's see if we do it in ounces here. Okay, at 4.25 ounces as opposed to 4.5. Okay, so it's just a tad lighter. So the Spyderco is a little bit lighter. Uh, the Digicam, hey, you know, I'm sorry. I think it's cool. That is just a just a good looking blade. Um, I do own one Spyderco. You may have seen the video I did where I tortured that poor little salt one to death. Um, I shouldn't say to death because it hardly died. A um, little concerned about the depth. I like to carry with the clip. So, you know, I like that option. And the spider coat doesn't appear. And one of the real biggies is that it doesn't appear that this uh, the spider co has the um, different locations to put the clip. It looks like it might be stuck with uh, tip down only. And that's kind of a drag. Benchmade, Spyderco, Benchmade, Spyderco. Hmm. Well, to make a long story short, I went with the Benchmade uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, was the price. the The Benchmade ended up being dramatically cheaper uh, than the Spyderco did. Now, I did buy this retail. Uh, in one of my other videos, I talked about that. I like getting good deals as much as the next guy, but I also do like to support uh, local merchants. Like I said, these are the guys that are there for you. I was able to go in and ha handle, play with, fondle, if you will, both knives and really get to A and B. I mean, you, you can't do that unless you have a friend who has one or whatever. So while you can save a few bucks on the internet, and sometimes it's a lot more than a few bucks, I'll admit that, there's just a lot to be said for being able to go into a store and actually play with the knives. In this case, it, made, it really made a difference. Uh, but getting back to the first thing, this was the display model. It was brand new. Um, the way they kept it in the store, let's get it out of its little benchmade bag here is that they clip the clip to the box and there it sits so you know except for you, you, you can't tell the box is a little beat up and the little uh, I guess there's supposed to be some more foam in there uh, it wasn't there eh what do you do who cares now side by siding the two knives it was amazing. I mean, I really liked the Spyderco, but when you hold the Benchmade in your hand, you feel like you're you're holding a machine. 
uh, that two tenths of an ounce just makes no difference as far as you know holding them in your hand like this but it just makes a gigantic difference if I can learn how to flick it uh, it makes a gigantic difference when you're when you're just feeling it to me compared to the Benchmade the Spyderco just felt like it like felt cheap it just really did I know it's not I don't want to you know torque off any of the Spyderco guys out there hey you know I do own a Spyderco uh, that thing got glowing reviews in another video that I did, but this knife just feels awesome. And for me, that's that's really the bottom line. If I like holding it, I'm going to use it. Uh, if you've watched my channel, you know I don't have safe queens, and no, I can't seem to flick this dang thing on camera. So, of course, you do the lock thing; it actually opens easier and it'll close easy. Anyway just feels real good. Uh, the traction was about the same. I really didn't feel a whole lot of difference except that I did notice that when you choke up on the uh, on the military it's a little bit better. But, you know, you've, you've got some traction and traction. It's adequate. No doubt about it. Nice handful of knife. And uh, you can go like on the website like I did if you want all the specs. Uh, the important ones were there. Uh, Benchmade, just a hair under a four inch blade. I do love that blade shape. D2 steel, okay? You know, I definitely will have to take care of this knife. It's not going to do what this did. <laughs> go check out the video. Um, tore this thing up. Uh, am I gonna put this through that test uh no definitely not definitely not so that's the that's that's the impression the uh process towards getting it i've been carrying it now for oh three or four days and uh i'll let you know more about it after i've had it for a while fair winds y'all have a great day